Hi everyone, today I want to showcase a plugin that I have created today. It is called the Better Plugin Page. It is the ninth plugin that I've created and it is free. Although I haven't pushed the code yet, uh, I will push it soon because there's some still there's still some spaghetti code in my plugin. But yeah, this plugin uh, will be released it on un, under my GitHub uh, organization instead of my personal account. But uh, it is still the same. Yeah. So uh, the rationale behind this plugin is that sometimes I don't want to see the uh, some plugin anymore. For example, uh, some plugin they are updated like three years ago. Uh, probably they are unmaintained already. Like for example, this mind map. I don't want to see them. Uh, and then uh, some plugins don't have a lot of uh, user base and uh, they're, they're usually more error prone and that's why I don't want to see uh, some new plugin as well. And sometimes I actually uh, use a couple of the plugins but I don't want to use them again because I think that they don't uh, work well with my workflow and that's why I don't want to see them again as well. And, but but actually, I feel like there's no option for me to filter the plugin in Obsidian, and the Obsidian plugin directory basically like explode. There are more than a thousand plugins, and that's why I think that I I need to help the Obsidian team to create this feature. So I create this plugin, and then what this plugin does is super simple. It uh, basically gives you a filter button here. You can also see there is a hide button next to the plugin. Uh, you can hide the plugin that you won't, you don't want to see anymore. And then they will become a list of string in the in the filter settings. Uh, you can also manually change this string. Let's say I. I I remove template here, and that's why template show it again. And then I remove task here. Uh, the task show it again. Uh, let's say I remove this as color draw. I can also show it by clicking by turning on this toggle. But you can see that now the X color draw is dim, so the opacity is a little bit lower than default. And you can still click on it, you can still install it, but it's just discouraged for, uh, discour it's discouraged because uh, you just hidden it, right? You hide it, and that's why you discourage yourself from, from installing it. Uh, you can also toggle it here, right? So yeah, that's it. And then this plugin also gives you two other feature for you to uh, filter your plug the plugins in the uh, community plugin store. Uh, the first one is the updated within. Uh, let's say I want it to update it within six months so that uh, the old plugin will not show up, and then you can immediately see that half of the plugin are gone. And then there are also another filter which is called the download count. Uh, let's say I only want to install the plugin which are have download counts greater than uh, 10,000. And then you can see that 500 more plugs in have been trimmed off. And, and then I can further select the plugin that I want to see. Let's say uh, the hover editor is good. I might install it in the future. Uh, fi uh, file tree alternative, I've used it, but I don't like it. And then I can, I can remove it. Editing toolbar, it is good. I want to keep it, I might install it. Hider, it is very good, but I can probably use, use CSS to, to do the same thing, so I will remove it. Space repetition, I don't really use it, so I can remove it. And yeah, something like that. To this point, I think it is already enough to showcase the feature of this plugin. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, this is a very simple plugin, but uh, I, I feel like this is something that the Obsidian, uh, the Obsidian plugin page is missing and that's why I helped the Obsidian team to create it and yeah uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye